Oh, there's another naval battle going on. I'm sure they have just massively better ships than we do. Yeah, we, we might lose our entire navy to two U.S. destroyers. Oh. That's a little bit depressing. Maybe I should use one of my research slots on naval doctrines to try to help that situation a little bit. Did you research the 1942 infantry anti-tank equipment? Uh, I do have the 1943 one, yeah. Mongolia has capitulated, which tells me that Germany has made it... Oh, Japan pushed north, okay. And they took Vladivostok. How how close is the Soviet... Like, how, how is the Soviet Union still in the war? 93% towards capitulation, so what do they have left? Their capital is now in Murmansk. <laughs> because that's like all that's left. Um, they have a couple victory points down here. They have uh, Tashkent, and then they have Alma-Ada over, over here. But yeah, they, they can't possibly hold out much longer. They'll never catch the U.S. Navy at this point. Navy bombers will be a better... Yeah, naval bombers would be a good idea, if, uh, again, if I had any resources. <laughs> Aren't you getting some from the Soviets, though? Oh! U.S. made a breakthrough. Hang on. What? No, that's not what I want. So which one of these is my marine army? Alright. I wish the game was a little bit better about telling you when stuff like that happens. They've got to be out of supply. They're not out of supply. That's a little bit worrying. Well, we, we caught it before it became much of a pocket, so... gonna take forever for my marines to get through the jungle to get to the battle though. They have a port. Oh I guess yeah, I guess they, they took this one province that was like just outside my defensive line. So I got a little bit too cocky there. We're gonna be attacking him from every side though, so I don't think they'll be able to hold it for long. As long as we can hold them down and they, they don't push out too much further. We should be able to close that pocket off. So once I get, yeah, once this battleship tech researches... Alright, Nicaraguan workers, your liberation is near. I'm going to start putting this in naval doctrines. Suggesting to attack the coastal province to the north and pocket the southern area. Oh yeah, they don't have anyone defending this right now. I wonder if I can just swing up into Trinidad. <laughs> that would be a major strategic failure on the part of the Allies. Oh, they got one guy there. Break him down! It's Jay Lawton Collins. Nobody even knows who he is unless you're a mega <laughs> military history nerd. He's tricky. He's a tricky fellow. But his trickiness won't save him. Okay, maybe it will. Ah! Okay, we cut him off. But they still do have troops on Trinidad. Questioning Nicaraguan sovereignty. So 
So the 27th of December, we're going to have Christmas, then we're going to have Boxing Day, then we're going to have No More Nicaragua Day. It's going to be the timeline of events. How's our trade deal with the Soviets going? Yeah, they're delivering... They're still del managing to deliver 51 steel. That's pretty amazing. How's our construction going? We're not building any military factories. Silly jail in the call. His tricks are for... Ah, fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so they just wasted a whole bunch of manpower. Unfortunately, there is a port here, so they will be able to retreat. They're trying to break out because they know they're going to lose. Alright, justification of invading everything has just finished. So, we're going to declare war on Nicaragua, we're going to call our allies, we're going to execute this battle plan, we're going to go down to speed 3. It's going down. We're going to declare war on Honduras, we're going to call our allies... Well, let's, let's wait. Let's wait until Nicaragua's finished, and then we'll declare war on Honduras. That way we won't have to fight allied Honduran troops while we're taking down Nicaragua. Alright. So now I want my entire marine army to just stand here. And I'm also going to extend this line to protect this port. We'll go up to four. We don't need to do ultra micro mode until we get up to Mexico, maybe the U.S., Yeah, I already, I already have, um, I already have airplanes attacking the Caribbean. So, and last time I checked, we still had air superiority. Yeah, we still have air superiority in the Caribbean. So, I'm doing what I can in terms of air power there. So slow going. I can't wait till we get to the U.S. where they have roads and stuff. No, because I don't have a navy. <laughs> they, uh, apparently they have wicked, uh, tungsten reserves. Wicked tungsten reserves. I saw them live. That was, that was a great a show. That's a great metal band. Yeah. They do have wicked tungsten, or, er, not, uh, tungsten, but, uh, chromium. British Raj has capitulated. The Axis are really tearing it up this game. Holy crap. They've got, like, all of Africa. They took out India. They're about to take out the Soviet Union. I wonder how much of that was just me tying up allied resources with my... <laughs> with my insanity. Would Kamikaze turn it down help take it? Um... Potentially? I mean, it would get rid of some of their ships. I don't actually know... I haven't done a lot of research into what the effectiveness of, um... Kamikaze strikes is against ground forces. That's actually something I should look into. Because um, I know they do a lot of damage to ships. I don't know how effective they are at, at bombing ground targets. I wonder if it says on the air, air wing screen. Okay, yeah, it's, it's only on enemy ships. So, the, they'll, kamikaze strikes can only target ships. That's kind of what I thought was the case. I really shouldn't have tried to take Trinidad. Like, now you can see that I'm not doing that. Our manpower is staying stable, and some month or some years it's even uh, going up. I also don't exactly understand what my infantry are doing here, leaving so many provinces for them to retreat into. Okay. 
So now we are going to take this army. We're going to draw a front line here. We're going to draw a battle plan here. We're going to wait for them to uh, spread out a little bit. Nicaragua has capitulated. DM would be quite happy that we now have access to the uh, Nicaraguan cigar plantations, which apparently, a apart from uh, Dominican and Cuban, are the best cigars you can get. DM Schmeier is, of course, our resident cigar expert. If you have boats, you could go to Iwo Jima or Trinidad. Like I said, I don't know much about the sea. Yeah, if I had boats, that's the key. <laughs> That's the key point there. If I had boats, I could do a lot of things. Honduras is up next. Alright, so there's something wonky with my battle plan. Like, there's no reason they shouldn't be attacking from here as well. So I'm going to go ahead and micro them. See if I can do this a little, a little bit more efficiently. Investing in a boatload of subs may be beneficial for wearing down the U.S. Navy and their convoys per manpower as opposed to going to toe-to-toe with them. It would have been, um, except that back before I was at war with the U.S., uh, I went all, all the way down the uh, large Navy track, um, so I'm not really set up to be a, a trade interdiction force right now which in retrospect if I had known what was going to happen I, I would have probably gone more of the wolf pack route but I think it's kind of too late to, to turn my back on that now alright good we have enough infrastructure in Venezuela now that we can support a full defensive army here I'm just going to give all of my free factories to infantry equipment if they're even just producing a couple a week, that's better than nothing. Honduras has capitulated. And so the next thing we need to do... Hello, Amadas. ...is take out Guatemala. And we'll take this area back from Germany as well. Are we already at war with Guatemala? Oh yeah, we are already at war with Guatemala. Well, will you look at that? What is chromium used for? Chromium is used for, like, advanced stuff. Like, I think some of the higher-end tanks use chromium. Um, where am I looking? Also, uh, watch yeah, the like, German units. Yeah, modern tanks. Use chromium. It's kind of a late game resource. Uh, Battlefleet concentration. I don't have any submarines, so I'm just going to upgrade destroyers. I'm sure there are people laughing at me right now for taking fleet and being as Brazil, but uh, that's kind of been my strategy from the beginning. Yeah, I don't know what these guys are doing. They're not really executing this planet with any amount of intelligence. We are shooting down a lot of planes, though, so we got that going for us, which is nice. Yeah, like, there's, there's no reason we shouldn't be trying to cut these guys off. We're about to take Germany's one province in the Americas. <laughs> what a blow against fascism! <laughs> 
Well, Germany dominates the rest of the world. Who is making gains against them? The great workers of South America. We've liberated Belize from the Nazi menace. Cower before us. El Salvador has capitulated. And Guatemala is about to capitulate. And now we're not going to be able to tell where the border is because Mexico and Brazil are almost the same color. Worm says, you're rather silly. This is something I tell TJ every day. <laughs> Gonna go ahead and climb up this hill here, which apparently has an airfield on it. Thank you for more, uh, clarifying how your name is pronounced. Amadeus. Oh yeah, Amadeus, like Amadeus, Amadeus Mozart. I want to try to get it right, but I'm not <laughs> uh, great with linguistics. That's TJ's special. All name. right. Well, we're probably gonna want mountaineers to take Mexico, but, uh, let's see how much success we can have with just our Marine Army. And then I'll, I'll send our Mountaineer Army up as, as support. I'll have them garrisoned here. And think of all the Bellican beer you have just captured, the national beer brand of Belize. I've not ever had a, 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 Belize, Belizean? Uh, Belizean? Well, I don't even know how you say that, but uh, yeah, I've never had a beer from Belize before. <laughs> Warm, true victory! Alright, just waiting for my Marines to get in position, and then we will invade uh, Lorm, the we'll fine be, nation of Mexico. We'll probably be streaming for another hour. Say yeah! Yeah, I think we can go another hour. Apparently, the, that beer is kind of like Budweiser. Kind of like oh, okay. <laughs> so I probably don't need to try it, is what you're telling me. And uh, what is our what is our planning bonus looking like on our? Oh, this isn't my Marine Army. This is just a regular infantry army. I was I was confused there for a second. Yeah, our Marine Army is still defending against the... Looks like Americans and Australians. Or maybe New Zealanders. Alright. Are we in position? Almost. We're just waiting for Jeff. Jeff isn't really a Brazilian name, but... In my mind, that the guy that is the last to the battle is always Jeff. Um, call allies, and we're going to declare war on Mexico. We're going to execute this battle plan, and we're going to make sure... Good! Okay. They're actually launching a good coordinated offensive. You guys had me worried there. I thought you had caught a case of the derps. Or I may edit the uh, this stream tonight and, and have it ready for tomorrow. If not, I'll have ready tomorrow evening to to finish the rest of it. Yeah, I think I think we're gonna roll right through Mexico, quite honestly. But that will put us directly in contact with American forces in in the U.S. proper, uh, which has a. Uh, I forget w which one, but I think it was one of the Japanese naval officers once once said uh, during World War II that it would be impossible to invade the United States because there would be a gun behind every blade of grass. So that's what we're going to be dealing with. Uh, you might want to guard the Central American port so the U.S. does not sneak up behind you. Sneak in behind you. I might. Uh, I don't know if I have the manpower to do it. <laughs> 